So essentially, Halloween's a scam, kids. Our names are Mike and Heather. We're traveling the US in our van Appa on a mission to visit all 50 states. Subscribe and join us as we try to figure out this whole van life thing. As always, thanks for watching. Hello, it has been several days and over 3,200 miles of driving since we left Fairbanks, but we have come to our 36th state, which is Minnesota. It is beautiful here and fall is definitely in the air, so what better place to start fall than the Halloween capital of the world. The last time you saw us, we just finished the Alaska Highway and we have driven all the way to Minnesota to Anoka, which is known as the Halloween capital of the world. It is October 1st in just a few days here, so we figured that we would make the next month all things fall. So we are trying to figure out fall things to do in all of the states that we're going to be hitting for the next month. And Anoka, Minnesota was perfect because how can you pass up the Halloween capital of the world? Also super random, but we lost one of our hubcaps and we have no idea if it was on the Alaska Highway up, during Alaska, on the Alaska Highway down. So we'd be curious to see if any of you noticed when we first lost it because... We'll have to check the tape. Yeah, we noticed it like about a week ago and then we're like, when did where, that happen? Yeah, where could we have lost it? So we're not sure how it happened or when. I mean, you did hit a couple bumps. We did hit some bumps, but not anything crazy. Yeah, and then to also update you on the crack that we got on the Alaska Highway up, I don't know if you can really see it in this light, but it's all the way up there now. So we'll eventually fix it when we get home. We're here at the Elm Creek Campground just outside of Anoka, which is part of the Three Rivers Parks system. It was really nice. You actually do all of the check-in stuff and paying online, which is really good for us because we almost never have cash and we always have to go find an ATM before we come to local campsites to be able to pay the deposit for staying. So that was really great. We're able to stay here with no issues and actually even the firewood you can pay for online. So really convenient and just a nice little spot. We're also the only people in this entire campground. So we got our pick of the spots. We are walking to the front of the campsite now to go buy ourselves some wood because it is like the typical beautiful fall days where it's nice and sunny during the day and then it starts to get cool as soon as the sun goes down, which is what it's currently doing. So we're gonna build ourselves a fire to warm ourselves up. Yeah. You done? Yeah. Not bad for $7, we got that huge pile of wood. We've been at some campsites where it's like $10 for half that. So I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Something we don't get a chance to use as often as we would like is this really cool light that Heather's dad and brother kind of wired up. So similar to the lights inside is this really nice bright light that we can actually attach to the side of the van and plug into our solar power and be able to have additional light outside when we're having a night like tonight. Okay, that goes in. Then, ta-da! Voila! And it has two different settings, just like the lights inside, so we can go extra bright or just a nice light to have, so. And maybe that'll attract all the bugs over here while we're sitting over there. Yeah, and then we'll just have to attract them back over there before <laughs> we get in the van. <laughs> Good time. Think I got the chance And I ain't gonna waste it Honey tripping romance And the hours are fading this world keeps coming round and So we may no use feeling down We've moved inside for the time being to eat our dinner just so we have a little bit more light to see what we're doing and don't continue to make a mess because I may have spilled at least three or four times out there. So we're gonna eat our Indian dinner real quick and then go out and enjoy the rest of the fire. This is our time. It's a crazy cosmic journey. I feel fine. so right. Good morning, it is another beautiful fall day here in Minnesota and we are now officially heading into Anoka, which is known as the Halloween capital of the world. 
In the 1920s, Anoka was the first town to officially start Halloween celebrations here in the United States. The town, in order to stop some of the Halloween mischief that was already happening, it decided to have a formal Halloween celebration and started off with parades and had candy to give away to encourage kids to celebrate Halloween in a more... In a less destructive way. Yes, in a, in a less destructive manner. So essentially, Halloween's a scam, kids. It's just to keep you all good and not going off and running around doing naughty things. They want the the treat, not the trick. Yeah, so no toilet papering houses, no egging houses. They're like, hey, we'll give you candy and you can dress up and do all the fun things, which I'd say that's a pretty good trait. Today we're gonna head into Anoka. It's not a day that there are any major festivities happening, but we are far enough into fall to have some different fall activities going on. So we're going to check out Main Street, see what the shops are there. We passed a free corn maze on our way into town, so we're gonna go scope that out and just have a nice time being in Anoka. This evening, we actually have tickets booked for the ghost walk that the Historical Society puts on. So we'll get to learn even more and get some of those spooky fall vibes that we're always chasing at this time of year. We're a few days early. It's not quite October yet, but as soon as October hits, if you check the website, you can see that there's large events every weekend. You name a fall activity and they got it going on in the month of October. So there's definitely a lot happening here in Anoka. I'm very excited to see what's happening today. So we have made it to downtown Anoka and have managed to find a two hour parking spot. So we're gonna get out and explore everything that we can see in downtown Anoka in about two hours. Our first stop is going to be the official Halloween capital of the world gift shop, where hopefully we'll get some goodies as well as a little bit more insight on some other cool things to check out around the town. Is it closed? Oh no. Open okay. Friday and Saturday. Oh no. What's today? Today's Thursday. Change of plans, we are back in our van because the Halloween shop is only open on Friday and Saturday and today is Thursday. So in typical Mike and Heather fashion, we have <laughs> misplanned it a tad or just assumed something was going to be open and it's not, which is totally our fault. But that's okay because we still have the corn maze that we really want to check out today and they open tomorrow at 10. So after our ghost tour tonight, we're still going to be in the area. So I'll just pop in on over tomorrow uh, right when they open because it's something that I really want to go in and see because it is the Halloween capital of the world gift shop. So how can you pass that up when you're in the Halloween capital of the world? So. We'll be back, we're gonna table that, but we did get a chance to walk around Anoka just a little bit on our way over. And it's really cool because every single storefront or the majority of them all have a little Halloween, what do you call it, displays? Yeah, like it's yeah. a Christmas time thing, but it's Halloween, which yeah. is really great. We love to see it. And it's just a really cute town. Actually, I think we missed the big pumpkin because I can see him. So that must be City Hall ahead of us because- oh, over. Yeah, because in front of City Hall, they have like a big pumpkin sculpture. So we'll go see that real quick and then head on to the corn maze. Oh, uh, weekends only. Dang. We are just not catching any luck. So I think part of the issue is we are here a couple of days before October and I'm assuming because that's Halloween season, October is when things really open up. So right now as we're in September, it's been running since the 16th, but I think only on weekends. So we're a little bit out of luck today. We struck out again. Unfortunately, <laughs> the corn maze is closed today because it's a Thursday but it looks like it would have been a really cool corn maze and, and it looks like they even have some pumpkin picking in there as well. The cool thing is it says that it's Minnesota's largest corn maze and it's free admission. So that would have been right up our alley. Yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's just not in the cards for us today. So I think what we're gonna do is head back to our campsite and just hang out a little bit, which isn't a bad thing because we've doing, been doing a lot of driving over the past week and a half, getting all the way back from Alaska here in the lower 48 and specifically Minnesota so 
a relaxing day at the campsite doesn't sound like the worst thing for us to do. We just have to be back in town at the Historical Society around 7.30. It's a little after two o'clock. We did get a later start today because we did have some work to do this morning, so we're starving. These are falling to the successfully killed enough time to be able to get back in our van and head out towards the historical society where we're going to be going on a ghost walk tonight. Hi. Hi. Checking in? Yes. Your name? Uh, Michael Barone. There you are. Two people. Yes. Thank you. So at the Anoka County Historical Society, we neither confirm nor deny the existence of ghosts. We're simply taking you a tour of the town, sharing some stories that the homeowners and business owners have brought to us. Two years ago, I had the Royal Ambassadors on a tour with me, and I said, okay, sometimes you'll hear the doorbell ring when we walk away. Well, that night it, it rang, and I had screaming ladies coming to take me down. So we'll see if it rings while we walk away. <laughs> found anything in their walls or in the house with them. So we have just finished the ghost tour of Anoka. We got to see a lot of creepy houses. One of them we can even go into, so we'll be able to do that tomorrow because it's actually a little gift shop, which I'm super excited about. Yes, and creepy stories about houses. The houses all actually looked really nice. The ghost tour was really cool. There was a nice blend of history about the town, about the houses, as well as some ghostly spooky tales. Mm -hmm. We even got to walk past the pumpkin once more and got to see it all lit up as a jack-o'-lantern whatever. Been. So it's just very neat. It's come full circle from the beginning of our day here to a nice end. But we are going to head back to our campsite now and try not to get freaked out as we sleep after hearing all these ghost stories so that way we can wake up tomorrow and enjoy another day here in Anoka. So we are back in Anoka this morning. We came in to check out a few locations that were either closed yesterday or spots that we learned a bit more about. And our first area to check out is the Big White House, which was on our haunted Anoka tour. Mm -hmm. It looks a lot less spooky during the daylight and it's actually quite beautiful. It's going to be really cool to check out a local shop here in Anoka. Hello. Hi. The store is actually really cool. It's still set up like an old house, so you're able to kind of walk your way through the maze of all the different rooms and see all the really cool decor. So even if you're not into like vintage furniture, they still have a couple other like local gifts. And it's just really cool to be able to like walk through an old house that you normally wouldn't be able to. Uh, I really enjoy looking at old houses, especially supposedly haunted ones. Legend has it that there's still a presence in the house for the from the old owners who used to live there who have since passed away. They were doctors and that's why that house was so beautiful um, because it used to be an old doctor's office. I went the wrong way. Yeah, I know. I was trying to figure out where you were going. I thought I could turn from Main Street onto First Street and I couldn't. <laughs> but now we are headed, if we can figure out how to get there, back to the Halloween Capital of the World gift shop because it should be open today because today is Friday. It is noon, so we are two hours past when they're supposed to have opened. So fingers crossed we'll be able to go into the gift shop. Found it. Ooh, it's downstairs. Ooh. The Halloween Capital of the World gift store was really cute. You actually go downstairs into the basement of a building and they have shirts and different items that say Anoka. It was very much like a small town gift shop. But now, cupcakes. We stopped at the Sticky Cheeks Bakery for a sweet treat. We got a couple of cupcakes, so we're gonna eat those before we move on to our next spot. If I can open it. But they actually had a lot of really cool flavors in there, but we played it safe and went with vanilla cupcakes with vanilla frosting. I like the little holder that it's in because usually cupcake holders are like impossible to get the cupcake out but this folds out rather nicely. It's really good. The cake is nice and fluffy and has a really nice vanilla and then the buttercream is really dense but not too sweet so 
It's really good. And after that sweet treat, we're back in our van and heading to our next state. So that's actually gonna be a wrap here in Anoka. I think Anoka was a really neat town. It's different than like Salem, which is another Halloween town that we've gone to where there was lots of specific shops for it. This had more of a, a kind of vibe and a history around Halloween as a festival. And I think if we had come on a day or a weekend when that was happening, it would have been more encompassing, but definitely worth a stop. If you're a Halloween fan, I think there's a lot of really cool Halloween and spooky history here. So I'm really glad we're able to stop and check this off of our Halloween towns slash locations, places to visit because we absolutely love everything associated with Halloween. So if you know of any other good Halloween towns in America or really anywhere, we can add them to our bucket list. Put them in the comment section down below because we absolutely love visiting towns like these that have a little bit of spooky charm, especially during the fall season. We do have a couple more fall stops to make on our road trip here through October. We're very excited about it and we hope that you join us. Our next stop is Iowa. So leave in the comments down below if you know what we're doing in Iowa as a fall activity or celebration and we we definitely know that this is not coming out when we're going to be there mm -hmm. so first weekend in october iowa fall activities mm -hmm. and see if you guess correctly yeah. i'm just curious because i didn't know anything about the celebration in iowa but it seems to be a pretty big and famous one and we're very excited because it looks really unique as well we hope that you'll join us see you in the next one Hi.